At 21, Beck Hillier is starting her life again. The haze of depression has finally lifted after a six year struggle. At my 21st birthday party recently, I gave a speech and said, as most of you know, I didn't think I'd be here by this age. I didn't want to be here, and now I do. And it's, it's absolutely wonderful. After unsuccessful medication trials, Beck began electroconvulsive therapy a year ago. And with the support of her family, she's emerged happy and healthy. It's changed my life. It saved my life. I, I had completely lost the will to live. There was nothing I enjoyed anymore. I just lay in bed most days. Um, I'm since back at TAFE studying zookeeping, um, which is what I was trying to do for the last six years. Beck decided to speak to us to challenge the myths surrounding ECT, and this conference in Newcastle of medical professionals is doing the same. I think the biggest fear they've got is the, the famous movie in 1973 of One Flew Cuckoo's Nest. Jack Nicholson does a very good um, mad patient. Unfortunately, he's not typical of what we see and what we do. The old-fashioned equipment is long gone. Modern techniques, as simulated here by staff at the Mata Hospital, involve the patient being placed under anaesthetic before a small electric current is passed through electrodes on the scalp. It's a very safe treatment. Uh, it's a, um, a treatment that saves lives. It's generally used for medication-resistant chronic depression, but has also shown success in other mental disorders such as schizophrenia, returning the brain to normal function. You don't realise how, how effective it is until you actually see someone who's in the depths of despair and who doesn't want to live and have uh, three or four treatments of ECT and they just return to their normal selves. It's quite remarkable. And it gets people into remission and they can then get their quality of life so they can start having relationships, they can get back to work. Beck's doing just that. She has some memory problems common with the treatment, but she's embracing her fresh start. This is the third time I've enrolled in this TAFE course. I wasn't able to complete them the first two times and I've just recently passed two subjects, which is the furthest I've got in three years of attempting to do a TAFE course. So I definitely view ECT as the thing that saved my life.